a lot of you guys uh, still ask me, you know, Cycle Cruiser, you know, why don't you show yourself out here? <laughs> show yourself in the videos, man. You know what I'm saying? Why don't you be like everybody else? Why do you stay behind the camera? You know, what do you have to hide? <laughs> I've done uh, several videos on this in the past. You know, I've been motor vlogging for over eight years, guys. Uh, early on, I actually showed, you know, myself holding a helmet with my helmet off and sunglasses early on. But then I started to get a little more crazier on my motorcycle and doing a little, you know, sketchy stuff here and there. <laughs> All units be advised, we have a pursuit. I don't think so. I was going to see that. Horse trail, baby. I don't care. <laughs> Driving on closed roads, man. I just saw you come out of here. Yeah. See your license, please. Okay, I'll get out of here. <laughs> and acting a fool and cussing really bad early on, like horribly bad, like a trucker. The reason why I don't get a Bugatti, let me tell you about it. First off, you're talking about a cheap you're talking about a mother that rode Chinese scooters. And then I was like, you know what? I may not want to show myself in my videos, but I'm going to tell you exactly why. Let's go for a ride. watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. Make sure to visit CycleCruiser.com and click on the menu tab My Videos and those are a bunch of playlists with all my videos categorized in them to make it easier for you to navigate through. This looks absolutely gorgeous out here. Man, I can't wait to move to the country. Nice and quiet out here. Fresh, clean air. But you know what guys, Let's make sure you're wearing a full gear. If you want to get my gear, I have my ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet with auto tent shield, motor vlog camera, airbag vest to help keep you safe, my Sadichi jacket, shorty gloves, pants, all my gear. I always include links in the description and comment section of my video. Yeah. <laughs> MT09 baby. Sounding proper. Oh. Oh, that torque. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it, man. Um, I'll tell you guys that I've realized that YouTube is has a, some crazy viewers out there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you have viewers out there that don't like what you say. You know, may not like what you do or whatever for whatever reason out there. And uh, it can cause problems for you. I've seen that happen to a lot of YouTubers out there. Recently, I received this comment, which I believe is a Max Risk Burner account comment. <laughs> Who else would care to leave a comment like this but him? Because I was criticizing his crash and his street Rossi, street racing riding out there. But this is some of the crap some of us YouTubers have to deal with. And you know, we're not rich Hollywood stars, so we can't hire a big security team. So that's why it really kind of pays to stay low key. But I've never name dropped on anybody in my over 1,500 videos. This was the first time. And the only reason I did this is because I was very upset to hear of this crash. And I'm so sick of hearing bikers get hurt like this senselessly and then beg for donations when they have a real effed up D. I try not to piss people off in my videos. Uh, you see, I don't talk about politics. I don't share my opinions on on hot topics that I know is gonna piss some people off and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm trying to be cool with everybody. You know what I'm saying? I hear, um, but I tell you, there's people out there that's crazy. There's people that have hunted down YouTubers and have killed them. <laughs> we are not a lot of us. Whoa. Got some gravel on the back tire, man. Damn. You gotta be careful out here, guys. That's why you gotta be careful not to speed. You know, trying to do some knee slide action around these corners that could set you up for a real effed up day. I really value my privacy out here. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I don't like fame in any way, shape, or form, even at the lowest level. 
you know, I'm not out here trying to be a star or anything. I'm really just trying to motivate people to get a motorcycle and enjoy riding out here and stay safe. And let's come together as a community and talk about various motorcycle topics and stuff. Um, I learn new stuff. I learn new stuff from you guys and share it. You share new stuff that, that I learn from you guys. And it's absolutely awesome. That's what keeps me doing these videos, man. Um, but I tell you guys, uh, you know, if I had to get me a job, <laughs> and I'm putting myself out there in my videos like that uh, and they do a little bit of research because you know they do background checks on you and they, they will check up on you and they see my YouTube videos you know with me cussing like a trucker back in the day or riding around here busting wheelies <laughs> yeah baby <laughs> riding up staircases Action. Up staircase. <laughs> I love that. Doing hooligan riding out there, they're going to, uh, it, it, it could keep me from getting a good job. So my livelihood could be a, at stake if, you know, and it, I probably wouldn't get a job, you know, if they do the research on me. I, so, and not only that, guys, uh, also my business clients that I have. Um, I have several businesses, and if they see me acting a fool on there, you know, they may not take me serious. <laughs> Definitely not, may not want to do business with me. For those of you guys that do put yourself out there, understand, understand that you are also becoming a celebrity to the police as well. Oh yeah, so you ride out here on the street, you're not just a track rider? I know, no, no, I ride out here on the street. Uh -huh. I'm not saying because I know you don't like riding with people. You like ride by yourself. I'm saying ride along with me here, sitting in this seat. <laughs> if you're riding out here crazy, there's going to be viewers that are probably going to report you. You're doing these these crazy street racing out here on the highway, and just acting a straight fool. Trust me, there's going to be some viewers that's going to drop a dime on you. So just remember that when you show your mug all up in the camera. You know, before you get on your bike and do your triple digit speeds. <laughs> because that could, might just put you in jail. There's been many motor vloggers that, where they had a cop show up at their door because of a viewer reporting them. And, uh, and then they'll keep an eye out on you. There'll be a cop maybe near your house or something that'll follow you when you're on your bike or something. And they'll wait for you to mess up. So that's how I tell you guys that for me per personally it does not pay to put yourself out there even though i'm not really doing crazy stuff out there i don't you know you'll very rarely do you see me uh go over 100 miles an hour you know, i'm more about the supermoto life to be honest with you <laughs> the wheelie here and there which is not uh illegal but you know what i'm saying this it's not gonna hurt anybody like doing triple digit speeds and stuff to be honest with you guys i value my privacy so that's the main reason why i don't show myself and why i, I just don't want to put myself out there like that you know what i'm saying and uh i don't care what you guys think it doesn't matter to me um but this is the way I like it. I like to keep my privacy somewhat. Now, I'm, I'm not, I know I'm not 100% anonymous, obviously. Like I said early on in my early videos, going way back to the CBR 250R days, you know, I actually put myself out there a bit, you know, not on camera, but in like in intros and stuff like that. And then I soon wised up. <laughs> but, anyways, guys, that's what it is. So. Leave a comment below, you know, tell me how you feel about this. Does it matter to you? <laughs> uh, but don't forget to subscribe to my All-in-One Motorcycle channel. And check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto. Deuces. Thumbs up. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. 
Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.